I'm Neville Brino, a guy who's crazy and accurate in now and then. But uh, this is out of, of its own period. This happens to be an S39 by Halicrafters. This is not mine, but I have one very much like it, except mine is missing a knob. So uh, actually the knob I'm missing is the one on the lower right. It's a interesting, very simple knob. It's all made out of right cylinders. And also having uh, to own, have happened to own a 3D printer, I decided, well, maybe I can learn how to make a knob. And it turns out it's a, quite a simple thing to do, especially when you've got a real simple geometry where, which is all just right cylinders. So first thing you'd like to do is you get your knob off the radio you want to copy, since you've probably got a couple of them just like it, you make yourself a sketch. And I ended up working in millimeters just because that's the way these things are, uh, easiest to work in. And I have a 3D printer out in front that maybe some folks got to see on the way in. It happens to be making another copy of that knob. It should be done by now, so when we, this all breaks up, it'll probably go out there, we'll go see it, we'll take it off the printer and peel off the extra plastic and see how it came out. But what I want to do is spend a, just a couple of minutes here I know it's getting late, so I'll make this quick, about how you can start from a sketch and actually create a knob in the real world using one of these 3D printers. Maybe you've got a friend who's got one or something like that. There's a whole series of programs for doing 3D modeling, all the way from many, many thousands of dollars a month in, in subscription fees, all the way down to stuff that's free. These are things that are written up by some of the companies who publish the big stuff, but they want to get us all hookered in, snookered in. So they make a simple version and they put it out there for free. You can download it from the internet. There are several. One of them was put out by the Autodesk folks and they call it 123D, as it's in real simple, as in 123, and it's done. Uh, all of the programs roughly work with the same idea is if you have a pad of paper in front of you and you start drawing a sketch on that paper. And then you decide you want to make it a certain thickness. So now you take that sketch and you extrude it to a height. And then you put another piece of paper on top of that sketch and you draw some more sketch on that. And then extrude that some more. And then when you get done with this kind of a process, you can chamfer corners, mess with edges, drill holes, and the result is you can make a model for a knob very simple like that without too much trouble. So this happens to be the, the 123D program. And uh, once you have your little sketch uh, and start the program, you're presented with a flat plane on which to draw. So I'll do, just do a couple of these because it'll take rather long if we try to do the whole thing. But you'd say, let's, let's draw a circle. All right, so you bring up the little thing for a circle. And we want to draw it on this plane somewhere. So we'll start a circle, say, there. What the heck? And we'll make it, oh, let's say 25 millimeters in diameter. So you type in a number. And there's your millimeters in diameter. And now we're going to want to extrude that to a height. Let's call it, oh, five and a half millimeters high. So we'll pick out the extrude tool here. And then we'll type in an altitude to take that up to. We'll say five millimeters. And you see we're starting to build this thing up. And now we're going to put a little bigger cylinder on top of that, because remember, my sketch had an overhanging cylinder. So we'll bring up another one of those. We'll draw another little cylinder. We'll put it, this time we'll put it on top of the previous one. We're going to say, let's pick that plane to draw on. So now we've got a plane, we'll find the center of this thing, which is around there. We'll make this say 28 millimeters in diameter. Type in our number. Now we've got another circle drawn on a piece of paper that's floating in midair. And now we'll take that and we'll take that circle and we'll extrude that up, say another five or six millimeters to make our body of our knob. I'm saying to get this thing to extrude the way we want. Now we're doing diameters. Now we want to just select it. And we'll extrude that up, say, oh, I don't know, seven or eight millimeters, let's say. And then on this surface on top, we'll put a third circle to make that little bevel that's on top. 
Come on, there we go. We'll put another circle. We'll put that on this surface. And we'll center it and say we'll make that the 25 again, 25 millimeters. And then we'll extrude that little circle up a ways, say three. Three millimeters tall. So now you see we got the basic shape of that knob that I drew a sketch of. And we could take this further, we could drill the hole down the center for the shaft, we can put the hole in the side from the set screw, but it's getting late here, so I'm gonna call it done. But you got the flavor of how you'd work with a 3D package. This is free, you get it from the Autodesk website. They'll encourage you to have fun with it, play with it, learn how it works, because you might just buy their real product. So, so I'm done, thank so you no, for no, the no, evening. You're not, no, you're not. No, I'm not done? So what do you do with this now? Okay, what do we do with this now is we'd save it. The next step is to convert it to what's called a mesh file. What this is, is a description. The, this to the program is a solid model. I can drill a hole in it and it'll have inner walls. The mesh then describes the outer surface of that. All the outer surface and it's hollow. The 3D printers work with that hollow file structure because they come along and they start to extrude plastic in a pattern to make that outer wall. And then they fill the inner with some lattice work just to fill it up, just so it doesn't fall apart. And we'll see that when we go out, stair out in the front there and the 3D printer running and it's on the table and you can see what this thing looks like. So that answer, I think we're, yes. that's pretty much it. It's getting late, so well, good evening. Yes, sir. I looked at your uh, sample that you had on the table. Yes. And it's not smooth. It's not smooth. That's and right. And polished or anything. It's not, not a really perfect it. project. It's not a perfect process. Yeah, but can you do anything with it? I'm sure there are plenty of hints all over the internet. I haven't tried too many of them. That one I tried brushing a little acetone on to kind of smooth it out. But it helps a little bit. It's kind of like a, a museum <laughs> fix where they'll take a painting and they'll fix some place where the, where the paints come off. If you get close, you can tell it's not right, but at a distance, it'll do till you find the real one. You know, that's the whole idea about this. And uh, so this is the simplest of knobs. You can taper, you can curve, you can do sculpting, you can make those slanted knobs, but I haven't figured out how to do the teeth around the outside edge yet. A neural knob, right? Yes, a neural knob, right. Yes, sir. The printer looks kind of like uh, yes, it, it certainly does, doesn't it? <laughs> no, that is actually, as once was a commercial product, uh, although it's what they call an open source commercial product, which means that a company designed it and published the entire set of plans for making it, and then the world decided to copy it. Encouraged to copy it. Yes, exactly, encouraged to copy it. And that particular one comes from a manufacturer in China that did a darn good job of, of the copy and in many cases improved it. So that version is about four years old that's out there now. They've, uh, there are much more sophisticated ones out there, but they all work the same way. Heating plastic, extruding it through a narrow nozzle and drawing with it on a heated surface and then moving and drawing and moving and drawing. If I went out and bought one now for whatever they cost. About 500 for a okay. simple one. Would it make a, a better product? Than that a one? little bit, a little bit, but it's all the same process right now. Please. Yes, sir. What well, if you wanted to make a metal knob? I mean, now that's another, that? oh, another story. I <laughs> cannot do it. This is just plastic. This is just plastic. That's right. There are companies that can. It's a new thing. There's various processes. You can read about it on the internet, but it's expensive. Like a small part that we had made at work that you could hold in your hand was $10,000 <laughs> for the part, not the printer, the part. <laughs> there, are, there are fun things you can do, yes, right. Yes, <laughs> right. All right, it's getting late, back to our prayers.